I think I got all that right. It's good. It's like really made my whole day. Moving on to a sledgehammer. Oh, you got it. Somebody help me remember that next year. Kind of like Robin Peter to paint Paul. A lot of things come across a little sketchy around here at times, so it's par for the course. The moment we've all been waiting for. up here everybody's up here <laughs> oh gosh let's see what's happening the boys are working on the dump truck installing a new alternator i believe how's it going so it's not the alternator it's something else they're trying to figure out what else. Hmm. Um, okay, so I just came back to the house because Wesley said they would like some water. Um, so, yeah, the dump truck that he needs to be able to pick, pick corn, to put corn in to get in the bin. Um, he thought that it was the alternator that was wrong with it. And so, <laughs> we ordered one ordered one on Amazon and it's not due here for a few days. He really wanted to get a jump on it. It was more expensive at Napa, but he went ahead and went back to Napa this morning just in case it doesn't get here on time and paid twice as much for it. And it's, that's not what it is. I'll send the other one back. Um, so yeah, that's not good, I guess, obviously. Um, so that's what they're working on trying to get that fixed. So we can get ready to pick some corn. There is sheep on the porch. So I'm sitting out here trying to get some signal and trying to Google. Uh, so he, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's not charging. The truck is not charging. So he says if it's not the alternator, maybe it's the regulator, but he can't find the regulator. He doesn't know where the regulator is. And I'm sitting here thinking, I bet somebody out there in YouTube land knows. Sometimes I wish I could just ask y'all questions real time, like if there was a, a, an efficient way to do that. There's not. So um, I'm going to keep Googling 1991 C70 Kodiak Chevrolet with a 3116 Caterpillar. I think I got all that right. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what's happening right now. Let's see if it... Still does. I can unplug that thing from right here. You think you can? Yeah. Based on my Googling, it appears yeah. that the yeah. regulator is in the alternator. He's pretty sure he, he knows, he saw it. So he's replaced the alternator and it's still not working. So it must be something else. It could be rusty or something other than... Could be rusty. I can imagine something could be rusty on here. Push it in. Yeah. Push that in and just wiggle it back and forth, pull up on it. Okay. Parts run. Screwdriver. Two sizes just in case. Will it crank? It won't crank. Yeah. It will crank. So what's not charging? The battery? Mm. Poor guys, they're really um, frustrated. So the truck is cranking off the battery. This is what I just learned. I'm, I'm learning things. It's, I didn't understand what the problem was, but it's cranking off the battery, but the alternator is not charging. So it's not, um, 
yeah, like as soon as he turns the light on or whatever, all the gauges go down and um, it's not good. So he's gonna drop the alternator again and see if he can see if there's something with some loose wires or I, I don't know. But they're working on that. Uh, and I'm pretty much helpless right there. So I'm going, I'm going to mow the grass for the first time in at least a month, probably in first gear. That might take a little while. And um, put put supper in the Instapot or crock pot or I'm doing something with chicken. So see how that goes. Okay, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie said, I'm just here for the ride, Mom. Always. My ride or die. Aren't you, baby? Sweet girl. Her is a sweet girl. Okay, y'all, write it down. Write it down. What we have here is a chicken. A whole, young, fresh, fresh? I think it said fresh. <laughs> a whole young chicken. It was actually frozen. Whatever. Um, Austin has been begging for chicken stew, chicken pastry. I call it chicken pastry. You might call it chicken stew. You might call it chicken and dumplings, depending on how you fix it. I know everybody has their own way of saying it and their own way of doing it. My granny used to always do pastry. She would roll out the pastry and cut it up. I use these um, uh, Ann or Annie's uh, pastry, dumpling pastry. I'll show you later. They're in the freezer section. Um, anyway, so I'm going to do that. I'm still piecing together exactly how I'm going to do it, but I've decided to put this chicken, excuse me, while I clean up my, my counter, uh, put the chicken in the Instapot. I very rarely use my Instapot, but I'm going to use it today. Save a little time and hopefully it's going to be good. Putting some spices together and going to saute it and then put it on and hope it works. And then I guess I'll pull it apart and put it back with some broth. I'm not, and some cream of chicken, I think. I'll figure it out as I go. But that's what we're doing. We're doing chicken. When I just told Lawrence that I was coming to the house to mow grass and cook a chicken, he said, chicken? <laughs> yes, chicken. <laughs> Even though we're not chicken farmers, we're having chicken tonight. So, we'll see how this goes. Okay, y'all. <laughs> it's time. It is past time, isn't it, Gustafur? Oh, you need a bath. All right, let's uh, let's blow up some tires and see if it needs a jump start. Actually, they might be all right, or not. Okay, okay, hey, 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 that chicken turned out good in the Instapot. It did good. I just um sauteed it on each side for several minutes and then put some chicken broth and let it cook for 30 minutes and then let it uh, slow release. I'm boiling some chicken broth to put that back into because this had um, oil mixed in it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do these little flat dumplings, put them in there, let them cook, add the chicken back after I get it pulled off the bone and chopped up some. And I think we're gonna have a winter winter chicken dinner. What do you think, Bonnie? Yeah, she said, I'm here for it. I hope I get some. <laughs> okay, finished chicken stew. It's not quite as thick as I'd like. I struggle with that every time. I didn't put any cream of mushroom soup in it. I mean, cream of chicken. Maybe I should have. But anyway, I think it's still going to eat. And we have cornbread. And we have black-eyed peas. Why am I singing? I don't know. Here we go. All right, Missy, you wanted this so bad. <laughs> you excited? Hope it's edible. All right, taste it. It's hot. It's probably hot, but please tell me it's good. It's good? Okay. <laughs> I'm crying. Um... Here I am crying again. <laughs> I haven't pulled my phone out all day to video anything. It's been kind of a, I haven't told you, it's been like a wild day. Like Sundays, I feel like Satan just likes to just hit hard. Like a lot of things, like a overflowing toilet right before church and a computer messing up. <laughs> anyway, so tonight we came over to our friend, Wendy, my friend Wendy. 
and her husband Thumper. And I walked in the door to her little she shed, <laughs> her little crib, and she made me a cake. She made me a hundred cake cake. And she's even got she's got us playing on the TV. <laughs> I love you. Mm, it's like really made my whole day. Austin balls it. That is a good picture of us. I am frying hush puppies inside. They are frying fish outside. Frying fish that they caught on their trip to the river. They went um, a few weeks ago and were able to stay down at the camper and fish on the Pamlico. And uh, they had a blast. Uh, my friend Wendy literally would be happy sitting in the, in a boat or on a pier with the um, fishing pole 24/7. She loves it. So, um, and they hadn't they hadn't been on vacation in like 15 years or something ridiculous. So, I'm glad it worked out. And now we're getting to eat the fish and the puppies. Yeah, good times. This is just what I needed today. It has been a rough day. It's been kind of a rough day, but here we are. And, um, <laughs> I just feel like crying again. Uh, thankful for good friends. Thankful for good friends. Uh, I hope you are too. I hope you have good friends. And tell them how thankful you are for them. Good friends and family. <sighs> okay, that's all. Just look at this. It's so pretty. Hmm. Hey, everybody in. Come in, Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Bonnie, get in, baby. It's crowded in here, isn't it? It's crowded. I need somewhere to be able to. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta be able to hit the uh, gas. Come on. I'm gate boss and driver this morning. <laughs> Y'all are absolutely no help. No help at all. No. Stay. Lawrence had a. Um, Lawrence had an eye appointment. And I didn't bother the kids because they're getting up and getting ready for school. So, the four-legged children and I are taking care of the cows. Good morning, Panda. Good morning, ladies. Beep, beep. Thank you. Beep, Twister. Dump truck has got new new kicks. Four new kicks. And then we gotta put an iron. We gotta do something. I don't know what we're doing. We're doing something. There's a lot of tapping and hammering. Hitting. So we're trying to get this this bar on and I got it on right here but you can see down there it's not on it's bowed something is bowed Ooh, okay it didn't come off so that's it I'm assuming Moving on to a sledgehammer. Oh, you got it. You got it. 
Good job, guys. Good, good job. Okay, so this is why, y'all. I just got the explanation. <laughs> he said next year before we do silage to remind him to take this little bar off, which I said I'm sure I will remember that. I'm sure I will not remember that. But what it does is it keeps it tight. So when we've got corn in there, it keeps it tight. It keeps the corn from coming out. But when we're doing silage and we need to, we need the, the lift gate to open, it lets it open, right? So when we're doing corn, we don't need the lift gate to open because we're going to dump it out with the auger. I'm just, I'm like thinking all this in my head. I'm figuring it out in my head. So somebody help me remember that next year when it comes to silage. I bet one of y'all will help us remember before I will. Take the little bar off. Tight as a tick now, that sucker ain't going nowhere. Doing good, buddy. You're doing so good. Can't nothing get through that crack but Jack. Can't nothing get through that crack but Jack. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, it is tight. Oh my goodness. Alrighty then. Good deal. Got that done. Check out this some tires. Some tread right there. Alrighty. These little rocks out of you. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway. That's that's gonna bug me. Okay. Very good, very good. Black hawk. All right, my boy and I are gonna do a little bagging duty. Uh, some people have asked why we bag corn. We bag corn to sell it. We sell it to deer hunters. They like to feed the deer the corn. So that's what we're doing. We almost forgot though. We got somebody coming to get 10 bags. We forgot we got a bag corn. So uh, yeah, it's Tom Marks. Yeah, he was gonna come yesterday or today. Thankfully he didn't come yesterday because we weren't ready. So we're gonna do that right now. It's warming up again. It's hot, isn't it? It's getting that way. I keep expecting you to come here and say you need us to help do something. Well, I do. You I do. do. <laughs> you got to get all both tractors over there and get the augers moved. Move augers, move tractors. Unloading, get, unloading. get grain moved out of bins to be able to put corn in the bins. So, yeah. It's going to be a busy day. Busy day. All right, here we go, y'all. Gotta move augers. Whoa! Gotta dig a little, make it work. It's hot, ain't it? <laughs> it's warm. It's too warm for September. Wally's here. Wally's here. Help has arrived. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. How many times do we say that? It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Oh. Like an old dinosaur. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh, ooh. All right. Is that all you gotta do? Hmm. Here's the game plan. This is what we're doing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it all put together now. So this has got uh, beans in it. Okay. So we're gonna take these beans out. I mean barley. This <laughs> has barley in it. We're gonna take this barley out and we're gonna put it over in that bin right there. Okay? So we gotta use this auger that was that was here and get it over there after we get the barley out with the small auger and put it in a truck and put it in here. Okay, did you get that? 
If not, <laughs> try to show you the process. Hopefully we get this done. It's kind of like Robin Peter to paint hall, which seems like we do a lot around here. Just shifting and moving and all that. I'm not super sure how this is gonna go. It seems a little sketchy to me, but um, yeah. A lot of things do around here. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of things come across a little sketchy around here at times, so it's par for the course. Look at the view from up here. Okay, I got it open. Hey, hey. I'm just gonna stay up here and make sure it gets to the middle. Okay, all good. Heading back down. Doing a little, doing a little landscaping. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on, little JD. Okay, we got this rigged up. Well, don't make the grease ground, don't make turn it. Where is it? The power of the cellar. Okay, Wes and I get the fun, fun job. We just did one. I did. I did. I did good, didn't I? Let me just show you what this is all about. This is clear plastic. Uh -huh. right uh -huh. see oh, I see it. That's weird. It's just painted. Oh. Oh, it's so that clear. Plastic okay. that's on, on the bolts. Anyway, I'm just cleaning this out a little bit. It's nice. But um, getting this little plastic doohickey door to work, which this one's not working either. So I'm going to work on that. A little crawl hole. A little crawl hole. And a little uh, knife, knife and screwdriver work. We get that. And then we put this plate on the outside and um, this will keep all the stuff from falling out. Here he comes, here he comes. Okay, well, we've got, <laughs> we got this one done pretty much. I mean, as good as it's gonna get. We just about, <laughs> We just about got stung. I was um, beating it, almost got done, and a big old uh, wasp, I reckon. Was it a wasp? Mm -hmm. Wasp came out. So, we had to it out. A couple busted knuckles. Somebody laughed at me. Is it because I was laughing at you? Man, I'm totally, I'm bleeding. His mom's bleeding and he was laughing at me. Is that how I raised you to laugh at your bleeding mama? <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, it's so hot. Okay. We've done our little part. Now I think he's getting ready to start unloading into the truck. The and way. we, uh, I was looking for my phone <laughs> in my pocket. I'm hold, holding my phone. We have to go I to guitar. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go to guitar scene. Getting it, getting it, getting it. Oh yeah, I just remember. Oh, gosh, I can't walk. I can't walk. I just remember, we have to, when it gets all the way down to the bottom, then we have to put in the big sweep auger, the sweeper thing, which is also not my favorite. It's just heavy. Oh, grain farming. Be a grain farmer, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Just walking the auger. Huh? move Down in the middle because it stopped going going in. 
very soon. We will, he will hook up the um, sweep auger and that will help finish getting the rest of it out. And then we'll have to get in there and we'll have to actually sweep, sweep the brooms. He did cut off the auger in the middle, so that's off right now while he's setting that up. Okay, we have done what we can do. Get into guitar. Yes, buckles are good. Uh, I have a feeling that things it'll probably be done augering out before we get back. You reckon? Maybe. Hour and a half. It's kind of slow going because the auger is kind of small. That it she's in to get it out of there anyway maybe we'll be back in time to help sweep <laughs> we've been gone two hours over two hours and it's still unloading oh my gosh the poor little auger is just just not big enough they had to unload the truck it got full i wasn't thinking about that so that slowed them down but getting there jack it up the jack tried to beat me it tried really hard but I won <laughs> oh my gosh I think it's hard to crank it's so hard to crank this is um this is interesting no it's hard to move this thing getting somewhere. <laughs> oh, if there's a way he's going to figure it out, that's all I know. like some glorified hot dogs <laughs> that's what I call this uh, like beef kielbasa I think it's how you say it kielbasa I got a couple of those I got some little hoagie rolls so I'm gonna cook some onions and peppers and put some cheese I think and anyway that's what we're having but first I'm gonna have to rinse off because these this barley y'all if you've ever dealt with barley then 
this is old news to you, but if you haven't, it's just very, very itchy. I know I've talked about it before, but I mean, my arm is like completely red. It's like little pins, little pin pricks. And it's just driving me nuts, so anyway. Okay, good day. We got that done. We are one step closer to being ready to start picking. I will, uh, I don't know. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be, but we'll find out together. See you then.